gates, fences, dibble, security guards. None of us that soppy scousers sing soppy songs about. None of them are going to stop us from getting in. Nothing is. 1990, two days before the Stone Roses define an era. Excitement is building at Spike Island, with only two days to go before the Stone Roses take the stage. My name's Gary Titchfield, but everyone's always called me Tits. It's the best at name in the world, but you know, it is mine. Yeah, he's never even seen a fanny, except when he looks in the mirror. To us, the Stone Roses were the most important band on the face of the planet. This isn't a music lesson. We blag, we lie, we climb. Everyone knows you did it. You look nervous, lads. All we got to do is make sure that we get inside somewhere we ain't supposed to be. Before we were a band, and we were a band before we picked up any instruments. We were Shadowcaster, and this is our story. Oh, it's called Banana. <laughs> Zipper, please tell me that's got your pop again in my back. I can't help it, it's the vibration. And as the sun went down over the chemical plant, the wind was blowing the sound from inside the site in waves. We already knew that Spike Island was going to be the most important gig in the history of the world. That night at Spike Island was the night when it all came together. The Shadowcaster from Manchester. Anyway, from Dutch. That's where you're at.